Yep. All right. So question number one. If the demand function for a commodity is that, fixed costs 1,000, variable costs 15 rand per unit, then the profit function in terms of P is. Okay, so when looking at a question like this, they're obviously asking you for basic applied mathematics when looking at specific scenarios. Okay, this scenario is more of an accounting type question because they're talking about profit. So um, I'm just going to keep tabs of all of this and I'll send it to you and then you'll have these workings as well. Um, assignment okay. 3, 2020, semester 2. Okay, question 1. Question 1 is looking at profit. So, profit equals income minus expenses. Yep. That's from your accounting modules. Alright, so here I've got the demand function for a commodity. That's the demand. So, demand is obviously highlighting the quantity that's going to be used in a particular scenario. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, yep. so you need to identify the variables that are being used in the actual question. So Q is quantity. Then you've got P as well as a function of that. So P would be the price. Yes. Fixed cost, we need to highlight that as well. A thousand, okay. and we've got variable thousand, costs yes. per unit, yes. and that was five rand per unit. So not five rand, fifteen rand. Is it fifteen? Yes, fifteen. Okay. Rand. Then the profit function in terms of p. Okay. So they want you to identify the profit in terms of p. So we need to use those equations. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is obviously work out the income. Income would be revenue. Okay, which is how much you generate. So it'll be your price times your quantity. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Expenses would be the cost that you would have to incur as a business. All right. So I okay. need to substitute Q in. Q is actually 40 minus 0.2P. Close brackets. Okay. Then I've got to subtract our costs. Fixed costs stay as they are. So 1,000. Okay, variable costs will vary based on the number of units that are produced. Okay, so 15 yep. rand per unit, so minus 15 Q. Right, Q again is the demand, okay, the quantity. So you've got to okay. substitute Q in again. There's your Q. Right, so I've substituted Q in, and now I can simplify this equation. Right, so on the next step, Okay, let's let's simplify this. Uh, this will be 40p. Okay, p times 40 is 40p. P times negative 0.2p will be 0.2p squared. Okay, happy with that first bit? Uh, yes. All right, multiplying in. So I'm, I'm taking p and I'm multiplying it into the bracket because I've got p times q. Q obviously has a formula. Um, or an expression that I need to obviously consider, and then I've got to do the same thing here. So, um, let's do this one as well. Negative 15 times 40. Um, let's just work that out quickly on the calculator. I think it's 600. I'll just open it up. Uh, 15 times 40, yeah, 600. Okay, so negative 600. Okay, and then we've got negative 15 times negative 0 0.2 is positive. So it'll be a plus, not a minus. Okay, and then what is 15 times three. 0.2? It's 3. So then you'll have 3p. Yep. Okay, let's simplify that further. Forty P plus three P is forty three P. Okay, negative naught point two P squared. Okay, minus uh one six. And that's it. We should have an option that looks similar to that. Let's check. Alright, those are our options. Okay, minus naught point two P squared, so minus naught point two P squared, so either two, three, or four. Okay, then plus 43p, uh, so it looks like 2, minus 1, 6. Yeah, option 2 is correct. Option two. Okay. 
Happy okay. with my workings. Yeah, yes, that was yeah, really right. okay, good. simple.